Hey guys, this is Lexi and welcome back to Simple Designs by Lexi. To those old friends, thanks for joining me again. To those new friends, welcome. If you haven't yet subscribed, please subscribe, like the page, thumbs up guys. Today, guys, I'm going to do a project with some Dollar Tree boards. And you guys know I do a whole lot of stuff. Most of my crafting is done with Dollar Tree stuff. But it's just amazing the stuff you can find at Dollar Tree and make something out of. So these little boards, I have four of them. And I'm going to make them come together almost like a hanging plaque. Um, it's going to be four. And these little boards here, it's almost like canvas, little canvas boards that I'm gonna put on that um, once, I've paint, once I've painted them and they're dry, of course. Um, and then I'm gonna put words on these that are gonna go in the bathroom. So it's gonna say stuff like wash, repeat, rinse, um, all that kind of stuff. I'm still trying to figure out the wording that's gonna go in there, but it's gonna have something to do with the restroom because that's where it's going. Um, I'm gonna use twine, of course, because that's what's gonna hold my boards together. I'm going to use some brown paint which matches the bathroom decor, of course. My twine, is, that's what's, you know, the string, that's what's gonna be up there. But um, I hope that you guys come along, hang out for a little bit. All right, guys, so let's get this painting started because it's the longest process of this all. You know what, I didn't realize this, but there's some stuff on here that I need to remove. You can find some really cool stuff at Dollar Tree, guys, and make your own little home decor. I've actually started looking at videos, I mean, uh, at pictures and stuff of stores like Pottery Barn and um, Pier One and Hobby Lobby and all those places that have um, home decor items and, you know, trying to replicate them with simple Dollar Tree items. Alright guys, so my boards are dry and I'm going to start trying to get these things to connect together. So originally what I wanted to do was have them almost have a little space to them. I'm thinking I might be able to get these sticks to keep them together. What y'all think? I think I can do it. If y'all think I can do it, I think I can do it too. <laughs> what y'all think? Get them. This way. These are gonna have to come up some. I definitely don't want them to show from the bottom or the top. Hold like this, I think we might have something going here, guys. And then I'll have that little gap that I wanted in between each plank. I think it's gonna work out, guys. I really think it's gonna work out. All right, so you guys will notice that I have my little planks down, and I found these little wood, just little wood pieces that I put in between each one, so it gives me exactly the amount of space that I want between each board. Um, I also have these wood craft sticks that I'm going to put in between just to hold these um, boards together as well as I'm going to use some um, some string 
also to keep it together and it's also going to be used as to be able to hang it up um but let's get to this Start putting this string. I'm hoping it'll hold with that. If not, then we'll find a better solution. But you guys have never been burnt with hot blow. I promise you don't want to. So the good thing about this is that like this is all gonna be the back. That's obviously not gonna show for nothing, but <clears throat> I'm sorry guys, I'm focusing on not talking. Gonna give that a minute to dry and turn it around and see what we work with all right guys so i'm gonna do like i said i'm gonna do something different with these boards um and i'm going to paint these letters that i'm gonna put on the board hopefully they don't take forever to dry because you know, we ain't got that kind of time All right, guys, so I'm going to um, continue painting here and I'm going to add some brown tone to these white letters. And for those of you that don't know, that is Harley. She's my little furry best friend that has to be in everything that I do because she can't help herself. We need to give you your own TV show. Since you want to be all up in it all the time. All right. I think that's enough brand. So guys, I'm pretty sure that I've mentioned before um, that these boards that, I've, that I'm working with, I got from Dollar Tree for a dollar. Um, these letters that I'm about to put on the boards was a package of about a hundred and something pieces that I paid about two dollars and change for um, and there's plenty of more letters so that I can use it for different projects these sheets of sandpaper I got from Walmart probably like eight pieces of sandpaper for about three or four dollars so very economical the next thing I'm going to show you is this pail, which I'm going to add to the board. Um, this pail is probably the most expensive thing that I purchased for this um, project. It was from Hobby Lobby originally at $5.99. I paid $2.25 for it on sale. So even still the most expensive thing, but it was still pretty cheap. All right, so I'm going to start adding my letters to the board and I'm going to use hot glue to do so. So for those of you who know me and my husband and our crazy home, there's nothing normal about this home. So that's why home is going to be in a slant like that because we're different. 
There's nothing normal about us in this home. Not even, <laughs> not even remotely close. <laughs> so I decided I'm just gonna go a little, eh, give it a little to the side. <laughs> and Tori, you can keep that in. I just figure something different. You know, you always see it and it's just straight across. You know, everything is supposed to be so perfect and straight and well, we're different. So my original plan that I had for this board, um, I don't know what the hell, I don't know what happened to it, but I just didn't feel like doing that. It wasn't, I wasn't feeling it. So I decided I was gonna go something different. Right. So I'm gonna add the, some little, just some ribbon to this pail so it doesn't look so plain. Best part of it is putting the pail here, making sure that it can hold. All right, guys, so I'm just gonna add some letters here, which is our name, our last name, since this is going to be at the entrance of the house. Almost misspelled our name. Come on. Damn, I broke it. Alright guys, so here it is on the wall, right at the entrance to our home, and I think it looks pretty cute. Alright guys, so I'm done, and I hope that you guys again enjoyed this little project of mine. That took me two days, but we won't talk about that. Anyway, um, again, if you guys liked, please subscribe, leave comments below, and I hope to see you on the next one.